Jenny Toth. Um, I'm having my opening tonight, and I wanted to show you a few pieces, tell you a little about the show. Um, I started these, these pieces are the earliest pieces in the show right here, these paper mache. Um, I'm a painter who works from observation, and I wanted to work from subjects different than still lifes and landscapes, things that are more readily available to me, so I thought I would create a zoo of paper mache animals, and also self-portrait, which is this, and begin to create scenes with these animals. However, um, Logistically, it was difficult to figure out how to fit all these large animals into my studio, so I began to do some reliefs based on birds that I observed in a parrot sanctuary in Del Mar called Free Flight. So these um, working, working from life, um, I observed these birds and brought my clay materials to the site and began to create these pieces. So I'm gonna show you a few of these pieces. Um, and uh, I'll start with this small one here. Uh, this one actually is based on a bird um, at the Central Park Zoo, a plush crested jay that has a lot of personality. He's actually my favorite bird in the whole exhibit in terms of um, the actual bird. He was my favorite, very friendly, very personable, very funny. He would steal things from people at the zoo, occasionally swoop down and steal a dollar bill or a pencil, um, and actually got in a little trouble and is now off the exhibit for that reason. But he would sometimes land on my knee, so I really enjoyed him. And so I made that, that has a lot of love in it. And I used air dry clay, and then I, I glued pieces of fabric. I have lots of books of um, fabric samples that I get from the fabric stores. So that was, that's that piece. Um, moving around. This is one of the birds from the Del Mar Parrot Sanctuary. Um, her name was Scamp. She came with that name. And I absolutely love that bird. And this piece is, is, was started in person at the Parrot Sanctuary and it was made in air dry clay and then painted in acrylic and then painted in oil paint. And then I created, it needed something coming down and I thought about the idea of longing and empathy and wanting to be friends with these birds. And I, um, I created myself uh, grasping the branch and looking up at the bird and I put a bird beak um, on, on it so it becomes sort of a bird person in the process. Um, and this has fabric, again, fabric collaged onto the, the piece. And that's all done in air dry clay with, and this has like wood dowels supporting systems to help hold up the clay. Um, this is the, another piece that I'll show. This is done in fired uh, ceramic, glazed ceramic. And I created this, again, based on animals that I've drawn and observed. Um, this one is from the San Diego Zoo, a bird named Dahlia, who um, was a very friendly bird and would have people come up close, but then she would sort of attack them. And so they built this sort of fencing around her, so she became a little harder to see. But her name's Dahlia, and because she was so full of personality, I had her sort of stepping, kind of like the queen, kind of stepping on these go a goat head on one. And this is a Kwati that I, um, I found in Costa Rica that was somebody's pet, and I observed that. So these are Central Park Zoo goats that I, that I worked with. Um, and this is a liz uh, lizard that I found in Costa Rica that I saw. So these are all based on real animals, and then these pieces are puzzle pieces. So they were, it was originally done as one piece, and then I cut them out so that they were, could be more fired in the, the kiln isn't that big. And then I pieced them together and put them onto this, onto this wood. So, thank you. Very much. Thank you.